hello and welcome to another tutorial so today's tutorial we will cover how to move your website files in case when you are installing WordPress you did not remove that WP um, which is in the directory field some people make that mistake of not uh, removing the WP from the directory I'll take you through how or well, first I'm going to show you how that mistake is made and if you did make that mistake how to then correct it so let's dive right in so first you'd have to log on to your hosting provider in this case I'm using TechPosy hosting I'm already logged onto my dashboard using my credentials and here is my services that I have and here's the domain that I'm going to be using so I'm going to log on to cPanel I need to do this via cPanel uh, within cPanel scroll down to the WordPress installer so here's what I mean when I say when while installing WordPress you might have made a mistake of not removing that WP in that directory folder so if you remember correctly uh, when you are at this step we always say just double check your HTTP protocol your protocol if it's a secure protocol make sure you're installing WordPress in the correct dom uh, domain and then on the third one you need to remove that WP but now we are saying let's say you forgot to remove the WP in that directory folder what happens and then how to fix so I'll leave I'll leave this like uh, like it is now uh, but under normal circumstances you're not supposed to leave uh, WP in that in that directory so I'll just label my site as per usual by you know site name description and on the right hand side account details after you've selected your account details and um, username and password you then install so because i did not remove wp in that directory folder what's currently going to happen is wordpress is going to is going to create a new folder named wp and all of the website files or the wordpress website files will then be installed in that folder uh, as you can see now my link is uh, wp uh, instead of my normal domain name so let's just go to overview so it's recently installed but it's installed to the WP so I, let me log on to my WordPress dashboard and let, let's see how this looks like let's just visit our site quickly so here is our site and as mentioned it has installed the WordPress files if you look carefully onto the domain name it's a domain name forward slash WP why particularly because WordPress did not install in the main domain but it installed in the WP because we didn't remove WP in the directory folder so here's a site and this is how it looks to, to, to further demonstrate that it installed in the WP I'm just going to remove the WP and if I go onto my domain I get a 403 error so that's why uh, we've got this problem and I'm going to show you how to do how to fix this problem um, I won't necessarily go into um, how you would build your website and choose your theme and, and, and customize your content there's other videos where we show you how to do that um, so now I just need to go back to my cPanel because I need to do this on cPanel on the cPanel dashboard there is a section called files remember the challenge we are having here is our WordPress website files were installed in the correct in the incorrect folder so to rectify that you need to locate the files and you need to go to file manager when you open up file manager under public HTML there we see we've got a file called WP now all of these files need to then be moved from this um, from this folder into the main root folder so we physically need to move everything that's been installed inside the WP uh, directory one level up onto the main domain so how do I do that? I can click on on one file and shift to select all the files or you can click select all and here at the top is a move. So now it's going to ask me where do I want to move? Enter the field path that you want to move this file to. So I need to now remove because it's currently or under public HTML forward slash WP. I need to remove the WP and then what that will do is it will move all of these files onto the main root folder and I click move files 
now suddenly my WP folder is empty and to prove that I need to come back to my domain if I refresh my domain uh, so domain forward slash WP is now giving me a 403 error because there's no uh, WordPress files within that directory and to, to, to prove that is, uh, all the WordPress files or the website files have now moved from the WP folder onto the main um, domain I'm gonna remove WP from the, from the domain uh, uh, directory and there is my site. My site is now showing correctly under the, 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 the domain name which is how it's supposed to be. Remember this video was purposely made so that uh, we can show you in case you made a mistake of not removing the WP folder when installing WordPress in the directory field, uh, that's what happens but how then do you rectify it? And just like that, you have rectified it. And to now access this WordPress um, dashboard, you just need to do it um, as per normal, domain forward slash WP admin and use your, your, your login credentials to, to, to log into your dashboard. And you can continue to choose a theme, customize the website, your, page, your pages, uh, your footers and headers. And that's it, uh, that's how you remove your WordPress files from the WP folder onto your main root folder. Until next time, if you found this video um, useful, please like, share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Cheers.